<sighs> I have a question for you. Do you know this feeling when you're really pissed off and also amused at the same time? I know it has been quite a while since the last part of my Disproof a Douche series. But let me put it this way, you know, life's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. So I flew out this new premium that has been added to the Chinese tech tree, a P51C... whatever. And tried to make it work. When all of a sudden the in-game chat came alive with a very peculiar message. You might be a cunning linguist. You bloated idiot! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just to make this clear, first of all, I totally adore the War Thunder community. I guess otherwise I wouldn't make all these videos. They're mine! <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So let's continue. But as it seems, sometimes you and I manage to bump into this special kind of player. Ilmariutiline. Wait, hang on. That's... Uh, that's Finnish, right? <laughs> Luftgeschichte Gesetz. That's your name? <laughs> That's a fucked up name. No, honestly, this doesn't make any sense. I have to admit, this guy caught me by surprise. <gasps> but then again, you know, it's the War Thunder chat. And it's actually pretty common for people to take it down on other people. I guess I already mentioned how I totally love this community, right? Anyways, after asking this guy what his problem actually is, he just keeps on until we end up with this. Sad gameplay. Sad gameplay? You know what's sad? People without manners. Let me get this straight. <laughs> I mean, sincerely, are you really that kind of person that takes pride in shitting on others? And wouldn't you agree that by saying stuff like that, it only reflects back on yourself, while at the same time it says absolutely nothing about the other person? <laughs> I know what you're going to say. That's the internet for you. So how about we just wind the clock back a little? and put his assertions into perspective. So there was I on Cuban, just taking off and going into a standard side climb. Something you see very often because the game is full of true noobs. And every true noob is side climbing, right? But somehow, things quickly went south, and just a few moments later, my team was essentially dead. So despite all my noobish efforts, such as keeping your speed up and do not engage in a turn fight, or for example, at least trying to set up standard energy traps, or waiting for players just get impatient so they peel off and go for the easy targets. That's right, I'm talking about you, sir. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not jump to conclusions here. I mean, there's still some noobish stuff I'd like to show you for like example, stalling out this F4.
But sadly, despite all my efforts, I simply couldn't get a foot on the ground. So I flew back to the base, landed, respawned, jade out and collected my 230 points. Oh yeah, including some dicking around on my part about the potato teams, but never mind. Wait, did I forget to mention something? Oh... Garbage day! Yep, that's right. Mr. Full of himself actually managed to kill a ground pounder. You know what that is? Do you know what that is? I <laughs> know, but just honestly, my apologies. I'm... I think I'm getting ahead of myself. So what's there left to say? I mean, it's a video game. And you can play that game the fuck how you want to play it. You can't just strap on bombs and go ground pounding for RP. Or start turn fighting in a boom and zoom aircraft. You can even commit into a useless head-on. Don't bring shame to the emperor. <laughs> shame! My point is, you can do it. It's probably sad gameplay, but who am I to judge on that? Anyways, if you think you can walk around with your dick hanging out of your pants and take the piss on other people, even when it's only in a multiplayer game, then all I have is this response for you. 